Good morning. We are in Boquete, Panama right now, and we are actually staying with my parents. They have lived here for about five years, and they are renting a house on a beautiful coffee farm. So we thought we'd show you around the property and give you a little glimpse into the life of what it's like to live in Panama as an expat. So we're gonna go and take a walk through the coffee farm, but first I'm gonna explain a little bit from my very, very limited knowledge of coffee. I knew absolutely nothing about coffee until Courtney's parents moved onto a coffee farm. Coffee grows on a tree. So we have a coffee tree and coffee actually grows as a cherry. So it grows in these clusters of cherries. And the coffee is ripe when it reaches a dark, rich, brownish red color. So we can see, you know, really tiny, immature coffee, some that's nearing ripeness and some that's almost there. So here in Panama, the harvest is done by hand by indigenous Panamanians. So the workers will come through and they'll pick the coffee cherries by hand. Now the coffee cherries don't look at all like what we think of as coffee. And that's because the coffee bean is actually the seed or pit that's inside the cherry. So the indigenous Panamanians come through the farm, they harvest the coffee cherries by hand, and then the mucilage is removed by a machine at a factory called a Beneficio. Once the mucilage has been removed, the coffee is dried either at the factory or uh, on just beds out in the open. Uh, and then the coffee is stored green where it's shipped all over the world and then roasted so you can grind it up and have your morning coffee. So another unique factor about this farm is it has all these massive uh, beneficial trees. And something that's pretty cool about these trees is a lot of them are avocado trees. So there's literally wild avocado just growing on the farm in these massive 100 foot tall trees. Courtney's dad comes out here almost every morning and harvests all these avocados that have been knocked down by the wind on the farm. like a harvest of avocados that would be worth $30 at a supermarket every day for free just walking through the farm. <laughs> Look at the size of this one. Oh, wow. So there's three just like that and they're pretty big <laughs> and we're kind of at the end of the season so there aren't as many as there have been um, but that's not too bad for one stroll on the farm. <laughs> so this is one of the trees. They're massive. <laughs> and you can still see some of the avocados hanging from it. A lot of them. There's still a lot up there. So another cool thing about the farm is intermixed with all the coffee plants, there's a few patches of uh, banana growing. So we have some growing here and then this is actually the banana flower and if you pull back these petals there would be these little teeny flowers and each one of those flowers turns into a banana 
So this behind me here is where the coffee workers used to stay while they were doing their harvest. So they would come here and harvest all day for however long it took and then sleep in these rooms at night. And we will take you inside of one of them to show you. I'm assuming these would act as like bunk beds and you'd have two people in one of these rooms and I guess that's it. They're pretty simple, but it's pretty cool to still have these here to see what it would have been like to be a coffee worker. <laughs> indigenous Panamanian family lives in this house behind us and it's right next to my parents house on the other side of this fence and they just live here and watch over the farm. Make sure no one steals those avocados. <laughs> yeah, make sure only we can steal the avocados. Those are their dogs. Yeah. These farm dogs. Look at you farm dogs. Your life is so hard, isn't it? <laughs> just laying around all day eating avocados. And this is my parents' house. This is a peach tree. This one just finished dropping all of its peaches and we have eaten a fair amount of peaches while we've been here. But this one still has punch. And they're these little variety that are a little more bitter than your average peach. but they're yummy and my mom makes peach pies and peach cobbler with them. So on the side of the house, my parents have a pretty nice garden set up over here and they have uh, different kinds of kale and lettuces and turnips and beets and radishes and carrots. And it's really nice because my dad comes out here before dinner and picks a bunch of leaves for salad and then we eat it in a salad. <laughs> and it's pretty yummy and my mom has made uh, juice with the beets and the carrots and it's just cool to have here. There's a lot of fun things to snack on around the house and one of them are these little things and I don't know what they're called. My mom calls them lanterns. <laughs> you open it up and there's a fruit inside and they're so good. What it is. So this big thing is a tilapia tank that my dad built and when we got here it had a bunch of tilapia in it that they have since moved to another location. Um, it's just a big tank of water so you can put fish in. I don't know anything else about it. <laughs> my dad has a few tropical fruits growing around the property and this, these fuzzy little things, are naranjilla and they kind of taste like a kiwi and my dad makes margaritas with them <laughs> and they're delicious and they're like bright orange. Boquete, Panama is really well known as a coffee region but also as a region for amazing tropical flowers and for birding. So there's a, a beautiful tropical bird here called a Quetzal and this is one of the, its prime habitats. And then there's also all these incredible flowers that are just growing on the side of the road and all over people's property. A lot of expats are drawn to uh, settle in Boquete, especially retire in Boquete, because the climate is really, really nice. There's just beautiful tropical flowers. There's a lot of excellent hiking and things you can do. Um, and the cost of living is very, very reasonable. So hopefully that gave you a little idea of what it's like to live as an expat in Boquete, Panama on a coffee farm. <laughs> Your legs aren't straight up. Yay! That's good! Your oh. eyes are... Ah! <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. That's so scary! That
is what I'm afraid of doing. <laughs>